Okay, I think it's working. I think we did you it, Greg. It? Greg, I'm sorry if it's not, but you know, we had a good time recording even if it's not working. So You want to uh, cue the intro music? Shoe. Intro music, go. Podcast. You're near the wild with Matt Becker and John Norris, recording in Anchorage, Alaska. I thought you would just be a guest. You're gonna, you're gonna compose our. I'm also music. the house band. That's awesome. That is amazing. I'll play you off and on. You guys don't want to walk onto the set. Perfect. Bam, 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 bam. Audience goes crazy. What's the name of this podcast? I'm about to tell you. Welcome to Near the Wild. I'm John Norris. I'm Matt Becker. We are here today with uh, two special guests. One really special, and one just kind of special. Not so special. Wow, we're here really with special. we're here with uh, Cass Smiley, uh, Anchorage mm-hmm. comic, and we also have Tony Kameen, one of the creators of the Marijuana Logs. Hey guys! Hi! Yay! Thanks for bringing me so such so near to the wilderness, top of the world, very close. Yes, we are right on a green belt. So yeah, I mean, I did a podcast yesterday on the North Slope, and they are a little nearer to the end of the wild, <laughs> but they're. There's less there's less wilderness up there though. It's all just barren, so you can see a lot farther. But I think it's less wild. Um, Tony is here. Uh, you're here doing uh, the marijuana logs at Coots. Yeah, it's been great. I'm with Cass Smiley. Yeah. And Nathan yeah. Hall. Yeah. Big nerd alert. Who we just did not invite to the podcast. Yeah, I guess sure. we could have, but yeah. he's pushing. Running. He's pushing paper somewhere. Yeah, he's got a job. Yeah. He's got important things to do. And he looks like he should. He's, I mean, get met accountant or something. Yeah. Did you say a gay accountant? No, I no, no. <laughs> nerd accountant. Okay. Or just accountant. Yeah, I mean, if I had an accountant, I would want him to look like Nathan. Yes, Hall. thank you. Or yeah. every comedy. We're writer. getting audited. He's like, ah, I'm doing his time. <laughs> 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 Pulling down his glasses over his brow. Okay, uh, his numbers don't add up. I just want to scream, cook the books in his face over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cook the books. Um, Tony, this is your second time in Alaska? I think it's like my fifth or sixth. Oh, you're, yeah. so you're an old hand at this. Yeah, I come up for the I Did a Rod every year. Sure. Just never win. Much. Never <laughs> win. Always a bridesmaid. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's like my fifth time. I came up really early when Greg started booking it, and I always have a great time here. It's so fun. It's like it's no place like it, you know, except maybe Juno. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's always – Coots is a, a, a gas to work. You know, it's always fun. We have that wonderful thing up here. It's, it's uh, Stockholm Syndrome kind of where – you, Wait, isn't that where I identify with my captor? Exactly. And <laughs> that's why is that, people <laughs> really like it. The fifth time you come up, you go, okay. I could <laughs> live here. Yeah. These people are really nice. <laughs> they are really nice. Everyone's like so – people come up like, thank you for coming up here. It's like that's – and I don't get that ever, you know, I, or laughs ever in no, the War 48. So I think that now we beat them down where they understand the, uh, the appreciation of coming to Alaska because they want you to have fun. They want you to experience Alaska, in, you know, in different ways. And, and – and like all of us that have moved up here and don't have family up here, you get invited to a wedding and like, hey, we're getting married in Indiana. Can you come? And you go, yeah, I got $700 to <laughs> well, waste yeah. to go to your stupid wedding. Well, uh, you're the ones who chose to. Why, now, why did you move up here, Matt? I had warrants in California. <laughs> See, that's a great reason. <laughs> that is the best. They, they won't extradite from us. That's the best reason I, I can think of. Warrants. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And those are good warrants. Oh, yeah. Those are like move away warrants. Oh, that's oh, yeah. like, this isn't like driving on a suspended license no, warrant. This is, it's not like that band. This warrant. is like don't ask warrants. <laughs> they are still searching for you. Yeah. yeah. Cass, why are you here? Uh, I here unfortunately forever. was born here. So the myopia with me is really big. I can't ever think about escaping. I'm that, would explain, here. that would explain your tan appearance. Yeah, I'm translucent. <laughs> I'm Alaska tan. So. <laughs> Who says you can go with three hours of sunlight and not have color? Hey, it's okay. No one wants to see me with my top off anyway. So it also explains your ability to just wear uh, pajamas all the time. All the time, and no yeah, one ever all the really time. Notices. Even in this, even that night, you just had put snow boots on to make it look like it's some kind of spacey outfit. Yeah, yeah. This is fancy where I come from. Yeah, you come from here though. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? How what, how'd you find yourself here? Um, I grew up in Southeast Alaska, but then I moved up here to go to college. Moving on up, and then I um, <laughs> Southeast is what city? Like, like, or uh, I grew up in a village in southeast, uh, so close, like kind over of, by Juno. Yeah, now what's that? Why, Sika. like, what, were your parents Eskimos? No, my parents worked for the Salvation Army, so oh. they moved there to do God's work Christians. and kind of. I see, like they, a missionaries. Yeah, they dragged me along. Um, so I moved here and went to college, and um, you know, I had. Is it odd knowing which position you were conceived in? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can erase that. Sorry, mom and dad. Uh, no, I love it. I, I think it was this. doggy style because they would tell me over and over again. They did, huh? <laughs> um, oh, I like enlightened parents. So I just came here for college, and I was somewhat successful, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to be a big fish in a small pond. I'm going to stay forever. It's going to be great. 
I'm gonna have podcasts. Right. I have uh, a you got way a beer in your hand on a Friday afternoon. A way too good looking girlfriend. Way I, too good looking. I get to open uh, for people at Coots. Uh, why would I leave? Yeah, that's a good reason. I mean, it's, it's a good good comedy scene up here. It's fun. I did the open mic on Sunday. A lot of good comics. Thanks. Yeah. I not, no, I didn't say you. <laughs> I know. Say that. No, I was gonna say a lot of middle in comics. <laughs> all, the, all the male comics are great. Mm-hmm. No, all the female comics are great. Greg Shaley is the one who really got that going. I mean, yeah. he really beat him down and told him, "Hey, here's the deal: either get good or." He's the smartest yeah. bass player I've ever seen. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> yeah, a lot of times, you know, you don't even remember he's a bass player. Yeah, he almost smart. makes me forget he's a bass player. <laughs> I met I met Shaley uh, through comedy, so I never knew him when he was like in bands and stuff. And then one night, his uh, he had a band playing at Coots. And like doing like a Marilyn Manson cover show. band, yeah. uh, and it completely changed my perspective on him. I took oh, him. That's I, awesome. And you I, took, the I, I took him slightly less seriously, <laughs> but I but I loved it. I love seeing that insight into into Shaley. But it's hard to be an authority figure when you're in the when you did a Marilyn Manson cover night, right? Yeah, with like, all that face paint. Yeah. It's, it is hard when there's a guy with uh, like <laughs> just uh, white makeup and eyeshadow telling you how you can improve your set. And you're just like, all right, buddy. Yeah. How do you think those guys in the Cure feel when what's his name balls them out when they didn't play the right note? Well, that was like that night we did the drag comedy show. Greg pulls everybody aside and he forgets he's wearing a wig and a dress and he's trying to tell everybody about their set. No, but there was also a night like that where he's all in costume and he forgets and there's a guy like being a jackass and he goes, you're going to have to go, buddy. You're going. And, and the guy, A, doesn't know Greg works there, but B, Greg remembers he's just staring at him. He's bigger than Greg and he's looking at him going, the fuck? And then finally the door guys get there. He goes, okay, get him out of here. And Greg later realizes the guy's going, he would have probably hit me if he wasn't going, what the fuck is a clown yelling at me for? A tiny share impersonator is trying to kick me out of the bar. Do you believe? Oh, that's great. Uh, so, so that's how we all wound up here. That's how mm-hmm. we got here. Um, how did you wind up here? Tony, why are you doing comedy and reading the marijuana logs here? It was all through uh, my former roommate and great com- comic, Roger Rittenhouse, who somehow knew Greg. I don't know, through Stanhope. Yeah, hook. <laughs> he had a hook for a hand, okay, if that's what you want to hear. No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, you really forget about it, uh, except for moving day. Then you remember, okay. So that's the fifth dish you've broken. Let me, uh, let me handle this. Lift I'll your get end the of ties. The couch. Yeah. I got the ties. <laughs> Oh, they can't break ties. Nope. Oh, that's what he'll say. Yeah. Uh, and somehow, like, Roger, like, suggested people. So I came up here pretty early. I, mean, I think it was, like, right after, pretty soon, like, uh, when he started it. I think, like, Stan Hope came up after me, like, pretty soon. But, like, it was fun, you know. I think I was up here for two weeks. Greg let me stay another week. And my he was cool because my, like, my ticket was lost in the mail back then. Like, it was, like, a $900 <laughs> ticket. And I don't know what, I think it was refundable, but he was always, he was like awesome to me. And like everybody, like everybody's so nice. Cause it's like, thank you for coming. You know, again, thank you for coming here. It was fun. Austin's going to have a thing like that where for so long we would see no entertainment whatsoever, except like Hobo Jim, who is a right. local Alaskan yeah. dude. So when anybody comes up, like we don't care what you do. Like, no, I you, was hearing, I was hearing ads for like, like crappy bands, co- like, you know, you know, coming like six months away, you know, it's like, you'd be like. Uh, you know, like the whatever's left of like Quiet Riots Tesla. coming like next year. And then, you know, and then like, they and then they cancel when there's two weeks before yeah, the show. Sorry, we got a gig in this. Sorry, yeah. that's why everyone thanks you because they're so damn afraid you're never. But coming also, back. it's fun. Like I like a little chaos in the room or during my set. Like I'm not really a planned out person, and Coots is perfect to that. There's always someone you could like sort of talk to, oh, and nice. and like there's always something going on. And I I like a lively room. It's not great for the marijuana logs because it's a little more of a staid thing. But like. I love I love like a coots atmosphere, you know, a bar in the room with a little sound to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, know. people playing pool in the back, telling you to shut the fuck people up. People threatening you with big knives. <laughs> that never happens. It keeps you on your toes, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, and that, that's the thing though is is it's really tricky anymore. The ADD is what's really changed more than anything. It, it's the same everywhere. I mean, we've we've unfortunately been, you know, brought into the same same group, but they'll sit there and. You know, you the watch phones, people text the phones. you on the phone. You're like, the phones I is like the worst this, thing. Yeah, a beginning, a middle, and an end. If you miss the middle, you're probably not gonna like the end. Yeah, and that's how our show is. Say? It's like there's a beginning, middle. It's a play. It's not like even like a stand up where you could shift gears a little bit and you know get, try to swing them over around here. Or right. I'll get real quiet. Maybe they'll get real. You know, there's a different things you can try. But with this marijuana, like there's places where there's like supposed to be some silence, and uh, you know it's it's a challenge <laughs> to to keep that silent. Uh, but like last night was was great, and these guys have you know 
I couldn't ask for two better fill in for local people. Yes, you, you know? could. Yeah, you could. <laughs> I guess I could call yeah, like Paul yeah, Rudd yeah, and like could. Cass so, learned how to read yeah. just for this gig. I so did. That was impressive. I did. I'm not good at it. No, you said you were born here. That's how says do you? It all. <laughs> how's it been, Cass? This is your first time doing it, right? Uh, yeah. I, I've been like a fan of it though. Uh, like ever since the album came out of the original cast recording. So it feels so weird to say that original cast recording. I know when we, when that thing came out, original cast like. At that time, it had been the only cast, those, so it's like yeah, those guys. Thank God we captured the original cast. Right, <laughs> right. I like I just like that attitude. You're like Ed, Ed Norton played this role on Broadway, I was really and excited. now I'm playing it in Anchorage. I was really mm-hmm. excited. I was like, maybe I'm like the first girl to ever be added to the marijuana logs, and I found out that there's like a, a group of Brazilian women that do it in Brazil. Do they really? Yeah, they like bought they bought the, the they've to they've it. they've uh, pussy, licensed pussy, the pussy rights. Marijuana. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, damn it, they took my bit, they stole my bit. <laughs> but it's a the hairless pussy down there. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah, Cass is a form that she's a got a lot of full bush. Mono... I don't know. Where yeah. are you going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could combine it. Yeah, do half and half. That would be a great, because um, two great things. Yeah. American like Reese's uh, peanut butter cups. <laughs> <laughs> but, but better. <laughs> but, but better, yeah. You or got different. your pussy in my vagina. Hey, Marijuana. wait a minute. That's the same. Is it... Has it been... Um, what has the mood been like at the shows with the recent political events oh you're talking about the charlotte green controversies no, uh, i think oh, she's just i think he's just talking about the mood yeah i'm just yeah. i'm just talking oh. about i'm not sure that's what don't that be a name oh. you mean just <laughs> just the <laughs> legalization <laughs> uh yeah legalization just in, in general Alaska. i yeah. think it's been good people have been very supportive and like every single person has uh you know do you want to go get high do you want to here's my daughter do you want to marry her? like everyone's been so cool. <laughs> hot smokers in general are pretty cool <laughs> laid back yeah. people you know you don't get a lot of tons of hecklers uh, blah blah blah, you know, um, and and then likewise here, even more so. The, the, I think the mood is celebratory because they, they know it's coming. You know, hopefully it's yeah, uh, 2016. Well, I'm sure it's going to take a long time to get all the rules and pat. You know, yeah. like what did Denver like? Find out where where it works great, like Denver and mm-hmm. mistakes right. they make and stuff. And, and, and that's what I was wondering was because of this, you're kind of like the cult leader now, aren't you? Like you go into well, like, Charlotte's probably the re- leader well, in I mean, Alaska. <laughs> I don't really think well, that's but, um, probably going to be. There's a lot of like Bruce, uh, what's his name, the comedian? He's, Bruce yeah, Schulte. Yeah. Schulte. Yeah. Great guy that's for a Republican, like the nicest Republican I've ever met. Right. But, <laughs> I mean, no, and that's always the joke. I, go, I yeah. don't think he's really a Republican, but yeah. he, he likes to use the moniker, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's a horrible prop act. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, probably a horrible Republican. Um, a couple of years ago during an election, I was covering the election results, and I was at um, the Alaska Republican uh, headquarters, and Bruce Schulte walks in. And at this time, like, I don't think anybody, any of the Alaska comics knew that he was, like, a Republican or, like, that involved. Yeah. And he just, like, walked in and, like, we made eye contact. And he just, like, looked at me. He's like, you're not going to tell anybody else. Right, right. It's I like at a porn there. store when you see somebody. Like, yeah. hey, we're not going to. Right? This never happened, all right? That's great. I'm going to walk <laughs> home with this big, giant, fun. double-headed penis. And no one's going to say anything. <laughs> well, he's out now. And. Yeah, yeah he's I'm, out. I'm glad he's. But he's one I'm of the good. He's too. one of the good ones that's reasonable and no, like all the personal like social stuff he doesn't care about. Yeah, yeah and hence why I think he's not a Republican. Yeah, he's. <laughs> you're supposed to be angry. But <laughs> well, why would you say you are if you're not? It's like I'm a dick. Just kidding. No. I mean, that's, <laughs> I remember a lot of girls were doing the whole buy thing for a while there. Thinking oh, get thank more God dudes, for them, huh? Thank get more God dudes for those gals. Yeah, like, I'm in the girls, too. So yeah, I they might bring call back you or that. I might not. <laughs> yeah, it's like I think he's doing that with the Republican Party. I might vote for drilling oil in the Arctic, but till then, I want some weed. <laughs> He's trying to get Sarah Palin. I think that was Bruce's goal was to hook up with Sarah Palin. Really? I yeah. think she's taken, right? That Todd guy. His girlfriend I mean, looks like a little tiny stone. blonde Sarah Palin. So yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I saw his. I saw his girlfriend. She's very pretty and young. She's very have you young. guys <laughs> have seen Sarah Palin while you're like before she got famous? Was she like, oh, she'd be at the old uh, yeah. Safeway? I've uh-huh. seen her. Yeah, I've seen her. And uh-huh. then, yeah, well, I think for a middle-aged woman with kids, I think she's average. She's probably the hottest. Th- she's probably the most masturbated. Republican, besides Ronald Reagan, I think they really like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they still men. No, and how bad is that, though? If yeah. your party is gravitating to a middle-aged woman with, <laughs> yeah. with well, a beehive, I people, go... People who love torture porn are big fans of McCain. Yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah. I see that. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> P.O.W. They just can't torture raise their porn. hands for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a joke about McCain being tortured in Vietnam. Oh, because one of his hands. Is... He can't raise his arms above his shoulders. I can't so like either. He, when he he can't do anything more than like a Hitler salute, which I think is very fitting. 
We're all trying. We're Everyone all is now. Yeah, we're all, we're all, like, we're all like, can I get mine higher? My mobility hey, issues are Hey, he said the POW camp for his country. He did, but he you did. know what? That wasn't my fault. I'd send him right back. Well, it's not you. Don't, we don't have, have we don't we don't we don't we don't have that thing where you send them back. <laughs> Haven't you seen Rambo? Oh, you know what? You could. You, you didn't see Rambo? Two? Did we send them back? Rambo two. They send them back, man. Send them right back. <laughs> it's not my wall. It's not my wall. <laughs> Adrian. Adrian. Uh, yeah. I'm Judge Dredd. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see them. I didn't. That's a good impression, guys. That was good. That was Look pretty how good. short I, I am. am. Just like I am the cliffhanger. Is. What the demolition man? Um. What? I, thought, where, I thought Craig Gass was here for a second. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Tracy Morgan. <laughs> Tracy Morgan. Hey, thank you. I can't, uh, I can't do toes. it. Like I love Tracy Morgan. This Martin. has been the most mm-hmm. impression-filled episode now, ever. Oh, has it been? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> Wild, you know what I think the hardest part for now, Craig... here's the deal. See? <laughs> <laughs> he's going to break some sort of record. Yeah. Impressions of Dana Carvey doing impressions. We're going to post this yeah. on YouTube, like 100 impressions I'm going to do the world's longest Reagan. Not link, I'm going to run around the house, like geographically. I'm going to run around. I'm going to do a mile <laughs> Reagan. We... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Mommy. I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> I do a good Carter. Uh. <laughs> no, that's the beauty. I said, if you're an impressionist, though, because like we grew up with impressionists, like the guys that nobody would know half the people. I'm know. Barton Van Buren. This uh. is just how I talk. <laughs> Early recording. Of, Look at my big old sideburn. Time to trim them. His impressions of presidents who were never recorded are it, it really impressive. Do Coolidge again. Do Coolidge. That cherry tree. <laughs> oh. What? Would you like to go to the theater, Martha? <laughs> <laughs> Only if we sit. These in are all taken seat. from history. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Uh, what What else is happening? Oh, what else do I do, <laughs> President you, Grant? Tony, what do you do? <laughs> Let's build a tomb. <laughs> Tony Kameen is like a walking hall of presidents. It's Thank pretty you. amazing. Mm-hmm. I also do some showbiz uh, personalities. Owen Wilson. Whoa. Jeez. <laughs> the impressive thing is your nose actually broke when you started the impression. Thank it was you. insane. It was very impressive. Thanks. I'm trying to think of some females to do. Um, hi. <laughs> that was that's... a nice lady. <laughs> that was feminine. Can you hold? Can you hold my purse while I shot? <laughs> At cars, local reference. All right. <laughs> cars shopping center. I think got everything all for Christmas ready. For those who don't know, Cars is actually Safeway. It is. is it? Yeah. yeah, it is now. I don't know. If, Everything's. Remember, there's two companies now. I don't know if we have local listeners. <laughs> I'm not up on our analytics. <laughs> How does this go through? It goes through the iTunes? Yeah. It's iTunes on, yeah. So you don't get that here in Alaska? What, no. iTunes? No, we yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah no, we, we have it. we have actually good following. J- John isn't really part of the whole, <laughs> the, the other side of it. All I know is <laughs> at Timothy Madonna on Twitter is our biggest fan. Yeah. So. But what you don't get is the fact that we have a lot of downloads on the all over, and I think they're black hat. We're, we're I think, keeping I think you out of. Robots. We're, I think Shaley we're hired keeping you. <laughs> we're keeping you out of the numbers right now, John. But the only <laughs> thing is, the only thing is with John is done. we have to go. No. Really, you, we have to do it Monday or whenever we have to do it because we have to get one on. We the have app. some corporate sponsors. Am I getting cut out of that Audible money? No, no, it's not. There's, <laughs> it's, it's just a matter of being a uh, 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 regular. I promise, at Timothy Madonna, we are going to keep doing this show for you. Mm-hmm. So. And with MailChimp. I use MailChimp. MailChimp. You do. MailChimp. I haven't heard the last one. You haven't heard the last one yet? No, I I haven't. Come on. Yet, it came out yesterday. Like, what? You loser. No spoiler alerts. Spoiler alert. Nothing happened. Nothing's Uh, happened in the last, like, three of them. Becker, do you know about cereal? You don't know. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Have you heard about it? He has it every morning. No, do you remember when I, I told you about <laughs> we should milk. do, uh, based on the Blackstone, Harry Blackstone, remember what I told you about that back in the wee part of March? I said Blackstone the used to do a, uh, the magician used to yeah. do oh, a, yeah, a yeah. thing. And what he'd do is real stories, and he would do detective style 
of that. And he was a magician. And he was working all over, oh, but that. he would still record these, like these stories, like on, these, yeah, the real stories. And he would, re- and they were mysteries, yeah, but and, they were mysteries on murder and stuff. And he would really. solve them. Yes, he would. He would reveal them at the end. Then, but it was one of the highest rated shows, and it lasted for like twelve years. After he got off the road, he still was the number one radio guy. Wow, on these shows. And I told him we should do this. We should do real murders. That's a great idea. Like from Alaska, because right. you have the ba- butcher baker. So all many good murders here. And then the goddamn serial, and I go, "What's it about?" And somebody, oh, Billy Wayne Davis, like, oh, you've never heard. You uh-huh. listen to this. I listen. I go. Wow, that's exactly Blackstone. your idea. Billy he's Wayne fucking Davis Blackstone. Well, no, it's, I mean, oh, I'm talking that? about 1932, but oh, yeah. but still, yeah. That they reinvented it. Are, that Wayne. sounds better than Serial, though, because he actually, like, solves it at the end. Right. Yeah. Even if it's not, like... Oh, thanks for Rex, so she doesn't solve it. All she no, does, she does. All he's she out of jail now. Okay. He's walking around. He's coming in later. Oh, no, thanks. He's... Can you put him on the list, Cass? <laughs> yeah. Add Cyan. Your first day out of jail, what do you want to do? I want to go to Coots. I want to go to the marijuana law. Would you remember that when these guys would get uh, exonerated for 32 years on death row oh, and mistaken? Yeah. And that one guy in Chicago got out and they go, what do you want to do? He goes, I think about going into stand-up comedy. <laughs> I go, why do I feel after 32 years in isolation, you probably aren't going to work well with a heckler? He was making the Sam, 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 Sam. Think of the pressure on the comic. Oh boy, I better be funny. Like in all the references. So yeah. back to Jimmy Carter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How about those hostages? Huh? I hope we get them out. Hey, what's up with the food, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's warm. <laughs> you guys ever tried to fuck one of those toilet paper pussy things? <laughs> oh, what do they call those? There's some kind of like um name for those. Not you know. I house. thought it was toilet paper pussy. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. No, they have they have names for like everything in jail. You know, like a, like a knife is like a you know a, a shank. Like everything. How about paper poon? Paper poon. Mm, I don't know, but if you look up jail terms, I had to write I some sketch for jail terms. It's that. called like a, a fluffy or some <laughs> kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, some yeah, some like a, some some name for it. The disposable flashlight. I like. Why that don't paper they just poon. give them flashlights? That's expensive. Uh, it's jail. Yeah, that's like giving these immigrants <laughs> iPads. You know what? I never understood. This has always been one of the ones that it finally came up. But even when I was a kid, I never understood it. When death row guys would go, what you? What do you want for your last meal? Remember Wayne Gacy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted this, that, and he wanted a Diet Coke. Now Everybody laughed. Like, yeah. You're eating fried chicken, but you're worried about your weight. I mean, don't yeah. worry. I think you probably just like the taste. But yeah, but the thing was, is you just go, why are you treating him like he did something good? Yeah, why don't you just have I a regular... Home. I get straight A's. I got what I like for dinner, but... What do you want for your last I meal? I my brother. I don't... Yeah. Now they I put would like say, I want to go to an endless buffet. So well, you're never really done. Now they put like a monetary cap on it. So it's like, oh, you only get $30 or Like I heard like the number meal. one thing is like fried chicken or fried chicken people want. Because it's like usually in the awesome. South where everybody gets killed. So right, exactly. Like, on fried <laughs> they have great fried chicken down there. What would your last meal be, Cass? Uh, Pussy! No. Uh, I don't know. Probably. I'm going to go ahead and say McDonald's McNuggets. For your last? Yeah. I I haven't been good to my body so far, so why start then? No, and that's I mean that's I just never understood why you treat them. I, I, I agree I with either. not feeding them. Yeah, you know budget cuts or, or feed them in their butt like that they did for the terrorists. Feed thing. them in their butt. That's how the kids are doing butt vodka feeding. shots now with these chugging. Their like what a tampons. Yeah, yeah, they take like, tampons. What a that's weird crazy. like how, like I'm bored with just drinking it. What? No, it was because of their, it's on their breath. Like, why did they start that? Right, but they still are intoxicated. So, I yeah, mean, it's not like that's going to be a red flag. Wouldn't that hurt? No, that's on the front. Yes, it's it a red flag. <laughs> waving, a, <laughs> waving a wife yeah. beater Tampons over your head. Feel good he doesn't normally. smell like booze. Yeah, I guess that's he doesn't smell like. Tampons don't feel good normally. I can't imagine soaking. Hey, one let's do a little and spare. Up your butt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what? Just yeah. The wife's got Becker, some back in there. I'm gonna drink. The I'm gonna drink orally, John. I double I'll, I'll dare sit on it. someone. All right. to I'll do sublingual under the butt. tongue. All right, yeah. <laughs> I double dare someone. We'll put a funnel against uh, your ear and just start pouring it into your head. <laughs> see if hey, I'll go to the same place. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. How about the powdered, the powdered alcohol? That's what? like the that best. That is called cocaine. No, <laughs> yeah, no, that was always the thing. I go, no, that's What's, a counteractor. I haven't heard of powdered alcohol. They literally made a powdered alcohol. Okay, so and and the FDA here's their problem. Is like Alaska is going to ban it. There's like five states already in the process of banning it. It's not on the market yet, but it's a powder, and basically you add it to water and you have a full yep. cocktail. You have booze water. You yep. have booze water, and the thing is, it doesn't taste horrible. They say put it with a mixer, but the problem is, is I mean, a smuggling a club, taking it in the places you can't. Putting in girls' it. drinks. Uh, take it into dry villages, it. dry counties. Yeah. You could bring in powder. It's and, uncontrollable. Mm-hmm. Well, they have the um, um, the beer for hikers. That's basically like concentrated like beer syrup, and you mm. mix it with water. Right. Uh, it's disgusting. Picture this as a powder, though. 
And the thing is, and it they, distilled beverage, and it distilled. Alcohol. And they were saying, yeah. "Well, what if kids snort it?" You know, oh, yeah. whatever. Uh-huh. And then the, the company comes back with, "Well, we made it so concentrated, you'd have to snort a huge pile." And then again, so we it's went weak. Back and, and they no, will. no, but I said that's yeah. the kind of cocaine I get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so I could yeah. just do half and half. It's mm-hmm. Half baby powder. Mm-hmm. Laxative. But yeah, but it's just funny. They're trying to ban something that's not even on the market yet. But granted, it's a horrible idea. But you think Alaska would be the place that would like wouldn't ban? <laughs> like, like you know, well, think like, about it. we got snow. Well, the north. But yeah, well, like I guess like those. I didn't know the North Slope. That's all sober up there. Like they can't have. There's, yeah, there's a lot of dry villages, and that, and for a reason. Well, I guess if you're dealing with oil rigs and shit, you don't no, you're dealing with drunk people all the time. Yeah, if you're not, yeah. But you're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, the, the idea of dying of hypothermia. I still, I'd rather be yeah, drunk and die than sober and die of hypothermia. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's always the thing. That might save you, isn't it? The dog that brings the the Saint Bernard with the brandy in the in its right, brain. and that's that's a true thing that saves people. Sure, right. Are, are those real? Have you guys seen those? No, we don't have those we here. No, we don't have them. But yeah, they do have them. They have yeah. rescue dogs on Alaska and stuff so for avalanche. I think we, the three of us, Cadaver we all snippers. have chihuahuas. Yeah, we all have chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. all you have three a chihuahua of us, too. I have a chihuahua too. Eagle bait. So we just have our dogs. Just have a little, uh, a little thimble LA, of tequila. I live in LA. You could find them. Like, <laughs> there's like, there's people. They're like wandering everywhere. I, I, I see packs of chihuahuas. No, like like people just let them go. They're so small that they get out, and people don't put like. I found one just like walking down my street, and I found the owner. Thank God. And the other, just the other night, I'm <laughs> I'm at Lowe's, uh, home improvement area. You know, fixing up the backyard for winter. And there's just chihuahuas <laughs> running around What's the parking that, lot, and the owner comes out under. finally, and the, there's a door open in a van, like. Oh yeah, I left the door open so she doesn't, you know, suffocate. But like, then she jumped out and it's like people. There's a big Christmas tree like place in the middle of Lowe's, and there's chihuahuas. Just like, Who's chihuahuas? You know, it's like terrorizing people. You know, it's like well, little chihuahuas. They're, they're adorable little guys. But, but like, in, in Alaska, we have a solution for runaway chihuahuas. They're called eagles. Yeah, bears. we have coyotes, and it's like bears. I just don't want to see these cute little dogs because they're just adorable little guys, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's the thing is you always put them in like sweaters or something identifiable when they go out. Because if a, you just say I lost my chihuahua, they go I might have saw it. But he go he's wearing a red sweater. He's and dressed go, as Santa. Is that, yeah. Did you see my? Yeah, I yeah. didn't see that one. He's dressed as Liberace. Oh, that's the meaning. That's the gay chihuahua. <laughs> that's why I love that Billy Wayne Davis joke about the eagle. Because I'm just waiting for that to happen to one of our dogs. I don't. That's go, great. I don't that's take good that you're that much. I don't an take them camping. That's the reason why they get to stay home. They you're, can't go you're, outside. Uh, but yours live in an apartment. I don't think the eagle's gonna knock on the door. Like, right. And well, then, like, could. pizza guy, and then you answer. I would be more worried in. the police shoot your dog. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this in this environment. <laughs> that's a more valid. It's so fear. funny that people like are just like people are so against cops. It's like. The only reason this is coming out is because of cameras. Like it, it, like if you just think this is just a thing that's just happening, yeah, you're crazy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> these people try to defend like, hey, you know, like you know, you gotta give the cops a break. There's, you know, yeah, of course there's some good ones, but like, you're white. It's only white people saying that. The cops are good people. You know, it's like you you don't live in a, you live in a good neighborhood, buddy. <laughs> like, I, you know, after living in New York ten years, you see, you just see them, like not, you know, p- people not picking up. Cabbie's not picking up black guys, you know. Cops telling them to get get lost to kids who are just like outside a store doing nothing, you know. <laughs> well, my- yeah, but but the the other side of it is, and then people don't realize in these these areas, it's dangerous for everybody. Yeah, right. but I mean, people so get the police over. are a target at that point. Yeah, but I think more of the more it's just like I think more of the communities get abused though, because everybody. I mean, they probably they probably have a horrible job, and they're I'm sure that's earned. You know, I'm sure that enough shit has happened where they right. have that attitude. But these you know? communities also abuse each other. So I mean, oh, yeah. so if I shoot three people in my neighborhood, that's one thing. But if if a cop shoots me, you go, well, that's horrible. But well, at the same horrible time, because I go, that's the authority figure, though. Yeah, but yeah, well, your buddies aren't the, aren't authority figures. Mm-hmm. They're not someone who's supposed to be protecting you. Right. You know, <laughs> they're supposed to be look, on John, the lookout. They're supposed me. to be on the lookout for, for cops. Yeah, yeah. That's what they're doing. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Yeah, like that's a good one. <laughs> 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 oh, well, cop, 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 cop. What else? Can we talk about the interview? Can we talk about Sony, yeah. the Sony hack? Yeah, you guys, we are, uh, we are like the closest place that North Korea could nuke. They always try to threaten. Yeah, but why that. bother? That's adorable. I mean, no, I mean, I know they're... oil, I guess, right? I know. But after reading about some of their nuclear tests, we're probably the only place they could reach. Yeah, <laughs> they have For not sure. quite mastered it yet. Yeah, no, Russia I mean, or North Korea? North Korea. North Korea. Yeah. yeah, they could probably like drop like promotional T-shirts on us. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't see yeah. the interview with it. They do have the T-shirt cannon, they you do. know. Yeah, they got that. They That's bought like some more old Oregon State one or something where they shoot T-shirt cannon <laughs> for some uh, FM radio that went out of business. <laughs> Kiss one hundred and three. Kiss one hundred and three. <laughs> yeah, what? 
there, on a beach at Nome, there's a bunch of t-shirts washing up <laughs> yeah, that just yeah, say "fuck sure. America." And you're a like, lot "Where of are you coming from?" I'll wear I it. Just, I, I wonder why they didn't get mad at Team America. Maybe there's the technology wasn't there to like threaten us yet, or the, the... no? I I don't think they found that offensive. I thought they. Found oh, that's that puppets. Funny. That's cute. Duel, that was well, no, his, he wasn't uh, reflecting the bad. Life. That was his yeah, father, true. though. So but don't I, you think it's just because his father had a little bit more common sense? I think you're thinking of Star Wars. No. Yeah, you're in, <laughs> sorry. No, in Team America, they make fun of Kim Jong Il, not Kim Jong Un. I right. honestly don't think, so don't you think they just knew because about he had it. Better common sense not to fuck with. It was. Like I will admit, though, it was a weird premise. I mean, if you, I made a movie about shooting the president of the United States, and, right? And, and 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 you know, it's a big comedy about it. You go. I don't know if that'd be the best thing to release. Well, they knew they were poking the bear when they did it. The only thing that came out of this, and I read a good article today, was uh, I forget oh, who it was by. Oh yeah. It was oh, no. humble brag. It was, it was, it was, I was reading the Economist today, and there yeah. was an article I was perusing. It was in French. In but anyway, it was in highlights. I digress. But uh, no. But the thing was, is they said if you're currently working on any kind of comedy with any kind of edge to it, now they're going to go. Nope, we're not going to make it. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but we don't want to piss off Martians. Which is weird because you think that would be the ideal opening for Seth Rogen to make another movie. Yeah. Um, it's weird. It's like I'm, I am surprised. Like when you first heard the rumblings, like oh, they're not happy about this. You know, like like Kazakhstan wasn't happy about Barat, or you know, like they were they were they were like but what are they gonna do? Like throw hay at us? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I just couldn't believe that they finally came. But then you'd like liability insurance for theaters. Like it's a lot of people gathered in one place. It'd be really right. easy. It'd all take like yeah. one operative to do one thing. That's why I didn't understand why they didn't just release it on uh, on demand. There's a new thing today. They got a second. They got a second threat saying, "Congratulations on your decision not to show it." But also, if you stream it or anything, we're gonna attack. <laughs> yeah, attack who? Yeah, what, they, yeah. What, any more than you were yesterday. But like, if you stream it, how do you attack? Like, all right, find who's watching it in their house and like send them a drink. Like, like it's not gonna be as easy as like a, an auditorium full of people watching a movie. You know, I think you know? that Almost movie. Impossible. I've heard the movie sucks really bad. Yeah, yeah. I think I heard it. So bad. I think the bomb would actually be when you streamed it. When you, when you see it, <laughs> boom, it's like a self boom. a self imploding weapon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they're not gonna release it because of the insurance. If they don't release it at all, they will. Uh, the movie isn't is covered by insurance. But if they release it on VOD. They lose all that. They money. lose a bunch of money because they're like, oh, I well, actually read an money. internal email from Sony that said that today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and how much of that, like all the identities being released and all the personal information, how much does that have to weigh into their decision not to release the movie? How would you like to be at Sony personal now? Personal fear. But first, it was, it was it was kind of brilliant of them first to embarrass and 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 vilify these, and plus no one no one feels sympathetic for all these heads of studios. Yeah. Like normal America is like, oh, poor. Amy, you know, like, oh, those poor guys. They like, oh, see these rich people? They, they don't know how, they're not even nice. And now this, so no one no one feels that bad. Like, you know, entertainers, comics, we're talking about it. But I don't think normal people really care. I, but do you remember the ad campaign that just came out with Sony? Uh, so-and-so just recorded his music or his video with a Sony camera. And then he did this. And he got a budget from Sony to make this movie. And it's independent. And he films it. And then he goes, and then the thing. And then the lady walks in the store and goes, and she'd like to watch it on her new Sony TV. Right. It was Sony, 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 Sony. Yeah. They go, well, they made this movie. And now Sony isn't going to show it. So you're not going to buy the camera. And you're not going to get the TV. <laughs> <You're> gonna, <laughs> gonna, fuck you're Sony. Gonna, you're going to lose your job. <laughs> yeah. and then, fuck. It was um, the worst ad ever. <laughs> Uh, Brett Erickson, a uh, former Near the Wild guest, uh, tweeted, why don't we just give them Seth Rogen and James Franco? And I think that is a brilliant idea. At least Franco. It, I like Seth get rid Rogen. Of Franco. I'm sorry. He's oh. fine. Yeah, but we still have James. Jonah Hill. I mean, it's right. fine. We're not like, <laughs> we're not out at everything. Rogen. And he almost won an Oscar. So. Yeah. I, and I thought, I, I'm sorry. I thought in that, in that this is the end. I thought James Franco was good, too. I thought oh, that really? was a great movie. I think they're both great. I think that's the yeah. funniest movie I've seen in a long But time. I would also like to see them given to the North Koreans. Uh, how come God didn't get mo- get mad at this is the end? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, God's on God's, the internet. God's that's IT true. team isn't uh, isn't as good as the North Koreans. That's, God probably, yeah, you're probably right. Like, I got all these little timers up here. He's still at uh, heaven internet, at geocities.com. Yeah. <laughs> Creator of mankind at earthlink.com. Yeah. That's his email. That's old. <laughs> at AOL. At <laughs> AOL. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting that now it's like being talked about as like cyber war and a terrorist attack on, on the country, even though they – can't really haven't even proved yet that it was North Korea who did it. No, they did. They did today. They did today. Uh, 
I still don't believe See, it. See, you're no, one I, of those conspiracy <laughs> theorists. I don't believe it. Where, who else do you think's doing it? Some kid who, who hates Seth Rogen? <laughs> um, so, hackers in North Korea, which I read has only one internet service provider, downloaded 400 terabytes of information from Sony. Right. And are well, releasing it? They right. have their. You, I think the military has a better connection than the one guy who has to wait at the cafe, the internet cafe. <laughs> there are and, no and, cafes. And they also have North a link Korea? to China's internet. Yeah. So you got to remember China. Remember that one time they were doing a thing on hacking, and it was a documentary thing on hacking for the military, and they actually had hacking American businesses was playing in the oh, really? background. On it was like an informational thing. Uh-huh. Our military is strong, and it was like a thing for China. And somebody recorded, and they pulled up the screenshot in the back, and they were actually hacking like GE at the wow. time. And they go, "No, no, we're not doing it." And they go, yeah. "It's in your goddamn it's ad. It's in your promo. <laughs> it's unbelievable." <laughs> Just a folder on the desktop was hack GE files. Like it that. is. It is still like amazing that they could do that. You would think all these people would have a, you pay a lot of money for for security, and some. Korean nine-year-old is probably like hmm. it is just so it's just too fishy to me. FBI that, has proved it. Yeah, but that they, they, yeah. they, they, they were like, it we don't like this movie. We're gonna hack Sony, who has the worst internet defenses in the world. They keep all their passwords in a folder called passwords. Mm-hmm. I think I just feel like some hackers got lucky and hacked Sony, and then we're like, well, let's just pretend we're North Koreans. Let's sell or sell it to North Korea. They can't. They if they if the FBI traces it through Russia back to Korea, I don't see how that's possible. We've been lied to before. I don't know. I think yeah. they totally did it because now they're releasing all these like uh, re- reels of footage of them all marching. You know, all the the North Korean army marching, and they all have like those are all from the eighties. These giant like bazookas it's or like funny if you ever... grenade launchers, and they're all marching together. What if one dude's finger slips because he's a dumbass? Well, you know, why? I wouldn't want to be. It would be perfectly safe because when they show those parades, they stopped them and they show like one. I forgot who did it. Like showed how. Almost all those things are fake. Yeah. All the rocket launchers, the tanks aren't even real. No. Mm-hmm. They're like cardboard tanks. They're like <laughs> they, 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 they one had like can you see the wheels behind the tank the fake tank treads that are going around? Yeah. You can see like Jeep wheels. It's like two two guys on bicycles yeah. riding. Yeah, yeah but like, that's brilliant. Like yeah, it's like there's no warheads in these things. They're just like, you know, made out of cereal boxes. They have like the best theater production yeah. group ever though. Like, and I think okay, scene. Like, all their money goes to like that that facade of of, of strength and show, you a know. A big cardboard mushroom yeah. cloud. Vice magazine has a very good uh video series where they go and it's like they yeah. do this yeah, whole auditorium just for this presentation for like three guys, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty amazing. If you could go, if you could it. go visit, would you go? I would 100. percent Yeah, I would. Totally. I'd be with you. I went to go to Cuba last year, so I go down to Costa Rica, and you can go. You could go once you're there, right? Like, yeah, from yeah. there you can fly freely. You and, and, and what they do is they uh, they just stamp a piece of paper in your passport, and so you didn't say you went in and out. But they do it, and it's pretty well known. And we were gonna go, and we were all set to go, and then God damn it, the week was gonna go. They uh, a Russian warship pulled into the port. And they said, no American travelers right now because there's a Russian warship Too in the hot. port. Yeah. So they wouldn't let you go. So I couldn't go. And I go, I told everybody, go, you have to go. They're going to open up goddamn Cuba. I'm telling you. You got to go before it gets open. Okay, yeah. Now it's. Well, now you still can't travel there, but you can I, get. Yeah, but they, you already could. Yeah. I mean, as long as you didn't go from the. You US. had to just hop. So you had to just stop somewhere else that didn't have a problem with them. Right. Beyond mm-hmm. like you could go to Jay-Z even, I think you could even like go to Canada to Cuba. Like, you know, right, like, yeah. Like, like Canadians go to Yeah, like, they that's, fly that's, directly. That's, you yeah. know. Um, but like I don't know if they if they have relations, man. That's going to be the biggest tourist. That's going to bring so much money to those no, guys. I'll go there. Yeah. But uh, we were going to go, and the thing is, I knew people down there. A jazz musician that lived in California was a guy who said, "Oh, no. hundred oh, percent, go." No. Oh, sorry. By the way, and uh, and uh, what happened was we were over there, <laughs> and Tony knocked over beer with his shoe, and, and uh, uh, you know it was a sunny day, pretty sunny day, <laughs> balmy down there. Awesome, beautiful carpet. Oh no. Well, amazing at editing. <laughs> the podcast oh in which Tony Camino ruins all the cocaine Becker's cocaine house. just spilled off the table, <laughs> off the footstool. What happened was, is he was a jazz musician, and he's out in California. And he told us, "No, it's no big deal to go over there." But he goes, "So I go over there first time, right?" And he went in the uh, like mid '90s, and he goes, "So you're like freaked out, going? I'm going to Cuba. This is kind of amazing." And he went to go hang out with musicians over there, social and, club guys, yeah, yeah. probably right. And so. He's going, and uh, he gets to the border part, and they walk in, and he hands you a passport, and there's a huge podium, and this fucking intimidating-looking guy sitting there. He takes your passport, and he takes the stamp for the immigration stamp, and he goes, bam, 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 hits it like 30 times, and goes, 
And he holds up a piece of paper. He's stamping on that. He goes, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like, oh, my God. So so if they stamp your actual passport and you get home, you'll get in big trouble. You like, that's could. What it, they, they haven't enforced it forever. Remember, uh, who, when, who they wanted like to go after Michael stamps. Moore. Remember when Michael Moore went over? Oh, yeah, yeah, He yeah. went over without a visa. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a transparent thing, but... Um, it's like we're friends with Russia. We have relations with Russia and China. No, this is a joke. The biggest communist country in the world. Yeah. We have full trade with. Remember, they lit up uh, on the 50th or whatever anniversary of communism in China. Remember, the uh, they own, what is it, uh, Empire State Building. They set it up as the, the uh, Chinese flag. They oh, lit really? it up as the Chinese flag. I go, is anyone watching this at wow. all? <laughs> the ex, you know, Chinese Communist Empire is now lighting up our national monuments. Hey, they own a lot. Of they percentage. don't own that much. That's a big no, lie. Google it. it. Uh, this, they, this, they have seventeen percent of our debt. The uh, isn't the Swiss? Oh no 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 no! It's the um, Sweden or something like that. Somebody owns like still the most. Yeah. It's like Sweden owns like a credible amount of our And we're like, still okay. shopping at They're IKEA. They're nice, nice people. Yeah. But yeah, it's always been the urban legend that, they, oh, China owns it. They, they really don't. Yeah. The problem China has, they have a glut of money and nothing to do with it. And the poor people are starting to rebel going, wait, I'm going to work in a shoe factory the rest of my life. Right, and they yeah, go, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, but I'm a billionaire. Right. That, that Vice uh, episode really talked about the ghost cities where they're like building these phantom oh, yeah, cities. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Looks oh. Like a phantom Manhattan no. looks just that's like Manhattan. That's China though, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. China. Yeah, yeah. But the scary part of that is not because they, they have this weird reason why they did it. And I'll tell you the reason why they really did it because they, they're saying like the rural farmers are going to retire and they're going to move them there. Well, they're trying to get people into a more city I fight economy. Yeah, yeah. but they, bull, right. they bulldozed all their huts if, and houses and shit. And but if you put think of this, houses are too if you really go to a war, a conventional war, and attack cities, you're not going to attack the empty cities. Right. But it, when you have a billion, 300 million people, yeah. if you lose half your country, you can now walk in, plug in, and have new cities ready to go. And you're not going to waste your bombs on empty cities. So they've literally built the backup plan in case they get really. Attacked. I don't. I don't know if that's. Do you think that's going to be such a for such a strong country like old fashioned just like bomber Note warfare? Well, I mean the thing is, is what are you going to do? I mean the old joke is if you nuke the planet, then it's done because yeah. you're going to live. But on. I, I feel like it. Oh, you don't even <laughs> trust North Korea. I, I mean, listen, yeah. I, here's what I think happened. I think it was some shady deals between people who own construction companies and the government. And they were like, "We're gonna I build think that this." Sounds more logical. We're gonna yeah. build. We're gonna build this city. Like, we don't need well, this city. Oh no, we need this city. And they're like, "All right, here's here's a billion dollars." A lot of those contract companies are in debt though, and they well, don't have enough money the, to build all cities. It's all nepotism in China. Right. Like their whole yeah. that's you know that's where it gets up this favoritism, and nepotism. Right. But they're about. They're, I mean, they're about to go tits up. I mean, there's there's no way they can continue at the rate they're going. Sweet. Then we can buy Why our tits up a bad. That should be a good thing. Like tits up. It usually involves some kind of sexual assault. Is what it actually refers. Well, Russia's the real big one that's about to go. They're tits up now. Oh, I know. All that stuff's coming to roost. Oil, like, every, all those people are saying, like, Putin was, like, so strong of a leader. Where's those Republicans now that, like, he's about to, you know, I, think, just, 30, I just saw. About to declare bankruptcy. I mean, practically. Well, I just right? saw a headline just, um, <laughs> that says something about Putin has, like, um, clairvoyance and mind readers now. Like, mm. Oh, really? But I feel like maybe those that's. gypsies? The gypsies? The gypsies? <laughs> I don't know if that's that's true, but. <laughs> I, I hope so. I hope there's a, a major world power that is using uh, mind readers to well, make Well, Nancy decisions. Reagan had psychic advisors. Yeah, really? remember that? That was yeah. like... Call me now. Call me Miss now. Miss Will, Creole. I got a... Will, I got a... She told me to buy new you, plates for the White you House. see my future, Will? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that was a wonderful time, though. That was, that was when we knew who the enemy was. Yeah. The Republicans. Oh, the dog's licking the beer off the carpet. Oh, oh God. God. Like Cyril's drunk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, huh? Go, Cyril. Go. Oh, he's shaking a podcast. He's, <laughs> he's an angry drunk. Oh, you guys should call this a podcast with all these dogs around here. Ah! <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> well, we just had an idea for a spinoff. We're just going to yeah. get Becker's dog sitting around Boom. in a circle. That's just the dogs talking. Dog talk mm -hmm. about dog stuff. Your doggy guests. Yeah, humans are kind of dicks sometimes. You know? <laughs> to be honest, a lot of rhetorical questions. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> come up with a thing that makes dogs so they can dog. Yeah, that sometimes was in that, I don't uh, want my up. butt rubbed. Yeah, huh? No, I didn't. Oh, know. it was a uh, great movie. It's the Edward Asner it was the balloon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It, it's a tear. It's a tearjerker. Right. Yeah, at the, the, beginning. the opening is amazing. Oh. It's super sad. That's the opening I think I've ever seen. Of a movie. You should watch it. Yeah, I just don't. You'll cry immediately. No, no, it's not even for. It's not even like for. I guess no, it's he just kids. doesn't want to cry when he watches it. No, oh, I, just, yeah. I know. I, I remember it came out and 
boom, went through. There's so it many wasn't things a released. Huge hit. It was like a sleeper hit. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, that's a good one. I went in. I watched it in theaters. I, me and a friend, snuck in some beers. Did not realize that the Sunday matinee opening weekend would, would be, be so children. packed with kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why so. would you think a kids movie would be kids? You weren't giving them beer, right? <laughs> So what's the big deal? You're an adult. That's the way to make money. A dollar beer. <laughs> dollar beer. Uh-huh. Pass it down. You take 20, a sip. Yeah. Pass it down. He's got money. Stamp a card. Did you like? Did you see Hero Six? Six Hero. My Hero Six. I did not watch oh, that. People say that's a good one. I haven't seen that. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Lego Movie. I love the Lego Movie. It's I hilarious. Did you see, did you see that, man? No, I didn't. No. No what kids, do you do all day, man? No, I, I really don't go. To, I don't. I don't really see that many movies ever. Oh. And uh, I don't go to theaters like ever. Well, I just can't stand it because of the really? North Koreans yeah, I making think, no, threats. No, I can't stand the people. Oh, the circus act. I go. I like to actually watch the movie. Oh, right. Yeah. You're letting the terrorists. And win, if you have to go to the bathroom, yeah. they won't pause it. They, they won't, won't pause I've, it. I've tried. Just whoa, a little bit. <laughs> a little won't. help over here. And and going. Are you done with that popcorn bucket? <laughs> That's frowned on. I found out the hard way. Yeah. They don't want a big jug of pea popcorn. Mm, yeah. Underneath. <laughs> These theaters. Make are so it rain. Strict. Here you can do what you want. You got a nice big screen, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. We, uh, TV, like I said, TV to me is just, it's gotten to the point where now, uh, I like more Netflix. Like, um, uh, where you, uh, we cut the cord. It's, we didn't even miss it. We don't have cable. We, we just Netflix everything. But here's the thing. When they did this, everyone's going, get rid of cable, get rid of cable, just go to streaming. And now that's where net neutrality comes in. Yeah. So instead of paying the hundred dollars to cable or $200 to cable, you're going to pay, pay it for your net. They're going to now charge you so much. If well, you want to watch content, we're now going to charge you. It costs you $35 to watch the season of Cheers. That's insane. Well, that's worth the beauty it, of how they're doing Look, it. If you haven't seen Cheers by now, it's your fault. You well, do you remember now they're, they're starting to go from instead of a fuel tax because they said you're getting more fuel efficient cars. They're going to start and they're, they're trying it now in two states is we're going to charge you per mile. So yeah. How many road, miles? Like a, like distance tax. And people are up in arms about that one. Well, too. I don't. Yeah, that's yeah. where they're headed. I mean, yeah. we go, who do you think is going to pay for the roads? You're getting 80 miles a gallon. Yeah. Screw you. Hey, Tesla. Guess what? Those roads aren't free. Because some <laughs> of it is, the you is. know, the weight of the vehicle. And the you know like like uh, that ruins it. It's not just the gas. Right. You can't go by gas, right? So I, I guess that's a better way is by how much road you actually use. Well, I've always wondered why we don't just put a truck tax in this country. Just go if you drive a super you know an extended cab truck, yeah. and we just charge you an extra thousand dollars a year for for road maintenance and everything else, and everybody go up in arms. They go, well, yeah, but if you look at like our traffic in Anchorage, it's gotten fucked up because. Everyone, it used to be everyone drove passenger cars or yeah. four wheel drive, whatever they could get yeah. smaller. Now everyone's got a full size truck. Yeah. And it's added another three feet to every vehicle, yeah. which means that a charged, red light, charged by the you're foot. now, if you add six cars, three cars aren't going to make the light. So you're now sitting there running, waiting for the next light because those cars are extended cab. Right. And there's one person in every goddamn Yeah, they're car. never, ever hauling nothing. No, full, I watch yeah, full Escalades with one guy in it. And I'm with you. see it because the tinted windows The down. Bush administration gave people subsidies on those types of vehicles uh, because the auto the industry bill. was so damn terrible. So what you're saying is we need to charge, we need to tax by the foot. For the length of your car. Well, I just think if you really get those th- fat cats in the limos. I thought is it those- trucks by weight. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They, I think it's by weight. Like, like what? Because they they also they also attach uh, fees to like how much the thing weighs. Like you can't go overweight. There's, right. there's certain weight restrictions. I think all that stuff figures into road usage. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, here um, we this all is have fascinating. Tires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, no, stuff what are to we? Some fourteen-year-old we... boy. Yeah. <laughs> In Des Moines, <laughs> I learned a lot about road taxes today. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to talk about marijuana, I thought. But yeah, what about taxes? That? Are cool too. Well, we don't have to talk about. It. Everybody knows about marijuana. People, no, but the thing is, it. have you noticed a difference since we uh, kind of legalized it? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no. That was the beauty of. See, that's the thing. We already had it legal. Yeah, and the, you know, it's in our. Oh no, no. I met a black lady who does it. That's the. That's the only difference now. It's like oh, okay. <laughs> there's some cute black lady that does it. Here. Yeah, yeah. She's coming out of the house to tell people she does it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but Alaska was one of the states where it was um, a long time ago yeah, legal, like seventy nineteen seventy five. It's still on the books. It's, yeah. in our, it's our, our Alaska Constitution, right? You yeah. have a right, and that's what's weird about the law passing was they reduced the amount you could have in your home they for did. personal use. Yes, they it did. It was three ounces, and after the law passed, they said now it's one ounce, which they say the Raven Act you can't override that with any law. No, yeah. So therefore, you still can have three ounces because the Raven Act. So they yep, don't, don't it's, understand it's how. It's still a felony if you have more than an ounce in this your is, house. This is like what California had to wade through. Is like you have federal laws, you have old law, state laws. You have yeah. local. Yeah. Sometimes local people like want to opt out. Like you guys had this yeah. thing about opting out. Like 
like I'm in Burbank and we don't have any dispensaries in Burbank because the city doesn't want to have any. Right. You know, we're a special little, we're our own city. But as soon as you cross the line into the Valley Van Nuys, boom, there's like nine of them. Yeah. Right. You know, like a mile away. So it's like, there's just so much legalese. Like we we're talking to Bruce about it. He's like, That's there's going to be Bruce. so many hundreds and hundreds of like technicalities and laws. And, right. you know, we got, they got to, they, they got to go through, see what's working well for like Denver and Washington Take the best of those things and, and, it, and use them here. Would well, you see the lawsuit now where the surrounding states are now trying to sue Colorado? Because they're losing population? No, because <laughs> they said they're having more marijuana incidents with, because your state's legal, they're coming across the border. Like, yeah. People are high, happier. Yeah, in other words, you're, in other words they're suing you like you're a drug dealer and you're well, ruining just, our yeah, neighborhood. Colo- well, but Colorado like the- itself is like, it's been great, great, huge tax base. No crime is increased. But they're saying if that levels off. In other words, if people start going, well, it's so expensive at the dispensaries yeah. because it's taxed. If I can still buy it on the street cheaper, if that revenue drops, what do you do then? Because they've subsidized everything with it. I don't think I don't think the revenue is going to drop. I think it's a, it's it's going to go up. It might, yeah. It'll stabilize. I think. Mm-hmm. And after a period, it's like going to camera. Well, because people are turning. I don't know what the the age is there. If it's twenty one or nineteen, but they're turning nineteen or twenty one all the time every day. Someone, a new young person, is but eligible to I buy. I mean, there are always going to be off the record pot dealers. Right. Oh, but for it's, sure, it's, it's not. A, but it's not addictive, anyway. right? <laughs> <laughs> that's where that's not where if you, not if that's you have dispensaries. Yeah. That's where booze and cigarettes happen. No, and there's beats. no you can't even like this is in our show, but like, and you can't overdose on it. Like you can, it's like it's in in the, I guess they figured out it's like true true fact. Fifteen, you'd have to ingest fifteen hundred pounds in fifteen minutes to to OD. I heard they got a piece of candy that can do that now. Really? Yeah. Right. Do you know a guy? No. Do you see they were telling uh, uh, in Colorado they go you they said you're gonna have to slow down on the on the edibles. Because we get tourists coming here, and they're not used to the level you're currently at. Right. And they certainly can't handle a piece of that. So they're taking it, losing their mind, and they're getting 911 oh, you calls. Oh, one of those candy I'm from bars. Rhode Island, yeah. and I don't know what I'm doing. It says like nine dose, but right. that's what, candy bar. That's yeah. what that yeah. one blogger did, and she was out and just wrote a bad, terrible review of it. And it was like, no, bitch, you just ate the wrong dose. You need to yeah. read See? your packaging. You're judging her yeah. on her own experience. You oh. really can't do that. Give me <laughs> give me good old-fashioned <laughs> alcohol where I don't have to read anything. I just right. keep drinking. Yeah. Keep on yeah. drinking. As, yeah, so it would be yeah, it'd be interesting. They're gonna have to regulate it to the point where they, you know, like beer, you know. But you I know, think people will always beer, the think about your local beer. dealers. Like you can't, you just can't get the like specific quality as you can at these places. Like they have, right. they've all tested it. Like here's how right. much THC, and I think there is always gonna be a market. You know, like yeah. for for someone who wants good pot, like right. that's the part I'm excited about. And that's my thing is I'm I'm all for it in in the right you know perspective, but. It can't be lawless. I mean, like up here, everyone thinks, I'm going to quit my job, I'm going to dispensary. I go, first, you can't all open the dispensary. No, yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah. And the other thing is, I think because they're going to put so many restrictions on it up here, I think you're going to have more drug arrests after the fact they legalized it than before. Well, that's, that's funny when you say that about LA because there was like, it was like at first it was like approved, like if you had to like get in a certain date for your, to, to apply after the law was passed. And I think it was like limited to 206 places in LA County. And then... They just got crazy. It just got, then there was all these like lax as well. If you didn't get your thing in late, or you know, mm-hmm. so they, they let all these other and it got crazy. And then this thing passed where they reduced the amount and back back to the original two hundred. So it swelled out and then it kind of shrunk a little bit. But I think it's good. I, I agree with you. Like you have mm-hmm. to because it's just, it's still supposed to be medicine. Last time I got my re- my card reapproved, the doctor was like asleep. <laughs> and he woke up and just stamped approved and then like went like like you know they went right. back to sleep like. But again, he's not worried about you ODing, so no, no. But like, like, and some of these dispensaries have like big titted girls that like, come into this one. Like, at least, at least act like it's a medicine place. No, like, that's, you know, yeah, that was at least like pull it together until we pass commercial. You know, like recreational. Yeah, because I was in California, went into one, and the guy's like, "Oh, well, uh, the, what's your symptom?" And I go, "I'm paranoid," and he's like, "Well, what are you paranoid about?" And I go, "Well, you not illi- giving me one." No, I said it's illegal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I, I really need this. But but <laughs> did he give you a card? Yeah, I mean yeah. you can. But then I, what I asked him about was but you have to be it, a resident though, right? You yeah you do. Yeah. But the thing was is I asked him. I go, "Is this? Do you really lose? You can't buy a handgun now." If you sign up. Oh, for really? Marijuana. Is yeah, that true? Yeah. Yes. yes. The NRA sends you a, or not the NRA, uh, the uh, rifle t- tobacco. Yeah. And when our, you uh, agree to that, that's what you agree to. Well, great, Tony. I was going to give you a gun on your way home. No. And that was the part <laughs> yeah. that I go, that's like the weirdest one. So I asked him and he's like, yeah. And I go, well, I don't know if I want to do it then. Yeah. I can't fly commercial aircraft or. Uh, and that's the other thing I think up here they could do is employers have the right. Oh man. I was about right. to fucking buy a plane today. <laughs> we were going to go I jet my, shopping after nice this. Cessna. You don't have to buy one if you got a gun. Ooh, yeah. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have a gun, you can't get weed. So, uh, right. yeah, I think gun, win. gun wins. <laughs>
My drug dealer doesn't have a gun at all, and uh, his only where's he live? My, my drug dealer doesn't hey, have a gun he, at all. Where does he live? He yeah. lives. <laughs> Write this down, man. We're gonna <laughs> pay him a visit <laughs> later tonight. No, but he was actually yeah, yeah. he was arrested four days before Alaska legalized the vote. Uh, to well, legalize it's still marijuana. not legal, so he's still right, right. Just, yeah, I know. Yeah, I you know. He's facing felony charges for a thing that he and well, he did, should. You well, can legalize prostitution he, in ninety days. It's still doesn't mean he should. Like, but then again, oh. he's like such a nice guy. He doesn't even own a gun. Come on, let him. Wow. Some I hope you're on his jury. I know. If only <laughs> I know. like it's no, gonna go to it's, jury. It's extra mm-hmm. sad for him because his only dream in this whole thing was to just become legitimate and have a legitimate weed business. All he wants to do is just pay taxes and just be part of the system again. That's his dream. Well, it sounds like it, if it was his dream, he should have worked harder towards it. Absolutely. Yeah. He should have been a lawyer or maybe yeah. a legislator. Should have locked his door. Or should have just like, I got to wait. I got to wait until. Well, no, yeah, you can't was... open your presents now. You got to wait till Christmas. Yeah. It was one of those things. Like, wait where... till Christmas comes. Oh, you know, like, know. it's going to happen. But like these like these th- people starting early. Or, I mean, getting caught is just getting caught. So. Right. Well, and it was, I mean, it, sadly, it was his fault because he came, the cops came to his house on an anonymous tip from a family member that said he was selling, like, meth and a bunch of other shit that he was never doing uh, because she was jealous that they didn't, like, invite her to, like, Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever. So, like, the aunt gets pissed. and Always invite your aunt to Christmas. Always. Always. And if the, you're a drug dealer. The cops knocked on his door, and he didn't have to answer. He could have just kept the door shut, but, uh, he, you know, he Dave's was not here, man. trying to be a nice citizen and just got effed over, you know. And so don't open your door unless they have a warrant, kids. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Or don't sell drugs. That yeah. too. But, hey, if he doesn't sell drugs, then I don't have weed. Or don't, don't answer like your door and don't uh, sell drugs. So now we know who your dealer is and when he got busted. It's and when has he gone in the house? Yeah, court, I'm going on court view right now. Yeah. <laughs> this shit out. No. You gotta get a truck. No, and that's the thing is, I just I don't know how it's all gonna shake out up here. But we're such a small shake market. out. I get it. Shake yeah. out. <laughs> it's, it's a it's a market that I don't see. I don't see us getting any more tourists because of it. No, it's I too far away. Yeah. I don't think. I, I think it's kids for. Who, I think it's for the locals. I, I don't think it's gonna yeah. be like a tourist thing here. It's well, too we far. already had it legal. I mean, you're not you gonna go smoke. like I know, but no, three thousand miles to get a free joint. When I run out of weed, at Chuck E. Cheese. But when I run out of weed, I can go into a weed store and buy new weed or and they'll write your license plate down. That that's fine. You know what? Like, there's so many here. Like. Like it's it's it is good to have because yeah. it's it's just like it gets the crime element once it, it once you take once you make it legal there's, there's no illegalness about it like yeah, I just go all the shopping. guns all the stuff kind of goes away a little bit right. like you know my 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 personal place in in L A like the guys are so friendly and they really do care like like well this is if you're if you're anxious this is going to be bad they they're actually like. It's like a mom and pop place, right. and it's like there's more dialogue. It doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel bad like it. Like you know, even in going to Amsterdam, it kind of feels sneaky and fun. Where you're like, right. I'm, I'm buying hash, you know, like <laughs> I'm gonna do it again just so I can buy hash. It, it, it's a different vibe, and they they get to know you because you go to those closest one all the time, and uh, you know they always have like we're having a Christmas party. It's real like old fashioned, you know. It's kind of <laughs> yeah. like it's like a- it's not. I don't think it's I don't think it's that vilified. You it's know? a mercantile. <laughs> yeah, but like you could get it yeah. anytime. You don't have to call a guy and hope he's. Oh, uh, when he's going to be, you know, yeah. they have delivery I mean, services, yeah. people in wheelchairs. It's great. You don't you have know? to wait in a bowling alley parking lot yeah. for like three hours. <laughs> right. Where are you? Yeah, and pot guy, let's face it, they're not the most reliable. Sure. No. You know, dude, sorry, man, my yeah. cousin came over and just, you know, he needed to jump. <laughs> you know, he may be late to work, but he's not leaving early. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm just excited for the opportunity to get different types of weed because usually here it's like you get what you get. Like your guy has a thing, and that's what you get. Oh, you so guys! It excited. sickens me to I smoke can... your local pot. It does. It's I bet. just pot. Yeah, it's just. It's not banana flavored. Dirty no. pot. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, Thirty-one flavors. Yeah. Mm. That's what I want. No, it is fun. You like, and you, and you like, from just from. It's amazing to come back because I lived in New York for ten years. Come back to California, and now it's just like, here's twenty-three kinds of pot, and here's exactly what they do to you. Yeah. Like, I'm just. You just used to buy pot, you yeah. know. You didn't. The you guy never that? told you what your here's pot. You know, it wasn't like oh, this is go in with the specifics like that and go. Well, Wednesday I can do this, but Friday I really have to <laughs> I do yeah. The no, people are list. like that. Like on weekends, I like an indica because that's more of a body high. But for work, I like a sativa. It keeps me more like it's yeah. people. I mean, I probably just telling themselves that more than anything. But yeah. like, <laughs> you know, and they have all they have like all kinds of food. It's like a grocer's. They have pizza. I don't. I guess it's in the olive oil or whatever. Anything oh. that has a fat. Yeah. Yeah. You know, olive oil, pizza, cakes. It's like doesn't that seem weird though? Because do you still get the hunger highs from it? Maybe it's a self fulfilling. Yeah, you know, I was like, like going out more pizza. The munchies, and the high the high munchies take yeah. care of itself. Yeah, <laughs> get you out of the house because you're eventually running out of pizza. Or do you keep just eating pizzas and getting high? <laughs> that's, you know? that's what I'm like, saying. I, that's my fear of this whole thing is that it's just going to end up a bunch of unemployed kids on couches going. Uh, yeah, I'm on disability. I'm What's on your <laughs> disability? I can't work. I'm high as a kite. Thank God I'm high. Yeah. <laughs> Takes the edge off living in my parents' basement. So you think it's a mixed bag? 
Well, I don't. I don't see how it's gonna wash out. I don't. I think the people that currently smoke pot mm-hmm. and enjoy pot are are doing it in the capacity that they already are going to. I don't see it. You're either gonna do more. Let's like alcohol. Regulated alcohol is regulated for a reason. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's gonna be regulated. But I think, but I, but the thing is, like, it takes people who want to do it. It takes the prison element, like, oh, the person I'm buying for might go to jail. Right. right. So I think that's good. Like, you won't have that anymore. Right. You know. So I think here it'll be, and you spend a lot of money on those guys in jail. I think it'll I mean, be yeah, it'll be big business here for the first couple of months. But then everybody who doesn't normally smoke will just be like, right. oh, okay, well, I guess that's there. And no one's gonna it'll smoke be... who doesn't smoke. Like, well, it's legal. I gotta do it. You know, just like... like when the Dairy Queen opened and you like couldn't eat yeah. it for like a whole year, and then now no one eats it. No, we have a Dairy Queen. I didn't know we even had it. Was it a big deal when it came in? When it Olive huge. Garden opened here, there was like a four hour wait to get a table at Olive Garden. Yeah. No, and you no can't make pasta there. at home. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That was like the, that was like I think I was all over like Sundays. So you, you saw I always saw a big line outside the worst red like Red Lobster. Yeah, um, but I guess I, I just read like uh, uh, Olive Garden's in trouble because they don't salt their pasta. <gasps> what? Because it's corrosive to their pans. Yeah, the salt. Ooh. So their their stock like plummeted. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's not a it's not a it's not a good like that business model is a little outdated. No, you know? it is. Yeah. And the thing is, they're going you know they're doing the all you can eat and they yeah, go, oh, that's great. Free but people lunch, are more health conscious. Yeah. And, I've been told they have some sort of like like uh, butter compound. They just spray on everything, like the salad. Oh yeah, you can ev- see the sh- there's a sheen outside of the breadsticks. There's, they shine. <laughs> You're like, uh, food's not supposed to shine, right? <laughs> <laughs> like so, bread. Like photographic. <laughs> yeah, they don't get in trouble because even though like one breadstick somehow has like 800 calories in a single breadstick, but they do get in trouble when they don't use enough salt. Well, yeah, I think- no, even the breadsticks. They, it was in the corporate thing, like. We're giving out too much breadsticks. <laughs> yeah. How great is that? Yeah. Okay, we, we're, we're dying here. It's, it's like tough when your slogan is never-ending breadsticks. Yeah. Well, let's bring out just one per person at first. Every that time I've ever asked for an extra breadstick, they just like, ugh, they scowl. Yeah, like, see, I've that, asked maybe that's their, 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 their new child. memo. Well, uh, after 12, they do. Yeah. No. There's just a manager in the back sitting yeah. over a pile of breadsticks like, do you t- try to talk them out of it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we thought we had enough for today, but we're making more just for you. They should just throw them at you by the end. Catch. Yeah. Can I get some breadsticks to go? <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what else is happening so, up here? Uh, that's pretty much it. I thought when Blockbuster went <laughs> under, when Blockbusters all went under, I thought that was a great way to jump in and put pot dispensaries. Yeah, those just take over their leases. Kind of yeah, a big, you got kind the of same a big property for a pot. But they got a Dropbox. They got everything. Yeah, it's a perfect. Dropbox. Great. Yeah. Um, wait, wait a minute. What are you dropping there? Your pot. Oh, <laughs> you don't Money. come in the store. Yeah, we do. Uh, no, you guys, you guys have a video store here in Anchorage. Like, yeah, our blockbusters are. Um, we have a couple. We of have them still. three blockbusters still. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know one woman was planning on closing, but it hasn't closed yet. Because they're not owned. They weren't owned by Blockbuster. They're they were franchise. like franchised out by some dude. So now, like, I think there's a couple in Arizona and a couple here, and there's like the last ones on earth. There was one. I just moved to Burbank a year ago. There was one, and I actually, when I asked for an application, or I was like, I kind of like joked, "Am I the only person that said that? Can I have a membership?" And he's like, actually, we're very popular. We're one of the popular because it's Burbank and people research film, you know. Yeah. And then two months later, they closed. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Here, here, yeah. there's only there's only like uh, one internet game in town. Uh, well, there's other ones, but the other ones are too slow. Minecraft to, to stream cool. uh, Netflix. So if you aren't paying your your GCI bill to get yeah. internet here. You What's want GCI that? mean? GCI is the uh, internet telecommunications company that like pretty you, much. You only have one. It's a monopoly. There's almost. some smaller ones, but there's too slow to stream Netflix. So oh my yeah. god, that company's so rich. So if you're not paying your your bill, you're going to Blockbuster. So I think wow. that's, that's how ex- Blockbuster's here is staying exactly in business. Exactly what happened to me. <laughs> my neighbor stole my internet, ran it up to three grand. Wasn't me. It was my neighbor. Wow. Hey, don't download every, <laughs> don't torrent every single episode of Cheers. This is what I was telling you. This, this is Jeff the Tate? second time I did, Cheers I had, has been I had brought up. I had all 10 <laughs> years of Cheers on my computer. It's so a classic, I guess, yeah. but geez. Yeah, well. I had all 10 seasons. <laughs> yeah, but that's, uh, so you have no internet? So do but you like, I got out. Do you yeah. like the Diane years better or the what's her name years? Uh, Kirstie Alley, yeah, for Christy sure. Alley, okay, she was good. way better, yeah. Yeah. My, she reminded me of my mom. My mom was my mom's favorite show, and I never understood it until I realized my mom was an alcoholic. And I was like, oh. You guys, save bar. it save it for Jeff Tate's podcast. I know. That's oh, what I was just going to say. Jeff Tate does a podcast just about Cheers. Oh, really? And I was thinking, oh, okay, we got to stop about talking about my, Cheers. My wife is watching Cheers for the first – she's catching up. Because I, I did comedy, so I missed – or I was a young – I missed Cheers, you know. So mm-hmm. I see him now, I'm like, they're actually pretty good. But sure, I, like, yeah. It's a great show. You know, I haven't seen a Wings. Charles. You haven't seen Wings? Wings. No. Oh, man. You are I, I've for never a treat. saw Cosby like I, you know I didn't watch a lot of TV I was doing comedy or you're playing in bands like I never saw a lot of that 
Mm-hmm. When I was like from like 15 to like 25, you know. Yeah. Like, and they're crazy. I am jealous that you're going to watch Wings with Virgin Eyes. That's Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. But it was, yeah, I remember it was on for a while. Like that was the syndicated show. Yeah. I guess when like Seinfeld was still in prime. Now Seinfeld's like the, the syndicated show. Right. It's like it's on. That and Law and Order are on Law every order. Yeah. Yeah. every yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. You can turn it off right now. I bet there's an SVU on right no, now. No, yeah. Always. No question. No, it's weird because like I stay a lot of hotels rooms. And if you ever have sexual relations with somebody in the day, odds are some sick fucking crime scene is playing if you're watching Law, like, law, this law and Order. It's like, oh, that's gross. I can't. He takes <laughs> the children's teeth out yeah. and then mouth fucks them? Yeah, let's... Uh, you want some more You want some more uh, wine? Let's get on the jazz here. station. Some yeah, light uh, jazz. Yeah, huh? Yeah, uh, streaming music on yeah. TV. So do you have any other plans while you're, you're here until Sunday, Monday? Uh, sun, I leave... Um, Monday morning, like it's five a.m. or something. So, do you nice. have any any other uh, must do Alaska things? Well, I saw Moose. I'm gonna go see the driver. They we got me a nice Jeep. Moose. Nicole got me a nice Jeep, and it's great. I'm gonna go driving around and see the port. It's after it's named Portland, after all, right? Like he's gonna go down to oh, like the port Ship of Creek. Anchorage. Yeah, yeah, Ship Creek. I just want to oh. see where the down go hang out downtown. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't. You can't get into the port. Fight. The port's not done, so you can't get onto it. What? What? Yeah, but you can it's go down to Anchorage. Hasn't it been? They're, they're redoing it. Oh, they've been redoing it for ten years. Yeah, it's a big boondoggle. It's um, one of those oh, really? big dig projects where the port to nowhere. The budget has gone tripled and quadrupled, and it's not done. People, really, people are dying. Yeah. It's, it's so. Is that a main? Dying. That's where the boats come in with your with your cargo and stuff. Yeah, that's where yeah. everything comes. And it's been it's been where they go offshore right now, and that boats come. No, off. boats still land there, but you're not. They land. You need or well, they can anchor outside of the bay, and then little ships come out and give them supplies. That's how they do the big oil. I'm not really sure how it works, but I. No, you can't. You can't uh, go hang out down there. Um, yeah. Working for the media, I've had still, to do like that. Was the only thing I wanted. Well, you can't do it. <laughs> that was the only. Well, you look suspicious. Maybe uh-huh. I'll go see the portage, take you to Walmart. Portage, portage Rock now. Yeah. <laughs> go to Government Hill. We're like when I first came here, this is how uh, long it was. the The birdhouse was still out there. Like we went to the Portage Glacier and we went to the birdhouse when right. it was still out there. And I thought that was the coolest place in the world. You know, mm-hmm. like this is great. This is one of those bars. That is awesome and is needed and is like in the middle of nowhere. That's like fame, you know. It's just like yeah. so cool. Then it you know, burnt down. Yeah, the rebuilding of it was brilliant, but I don't think it would have survived out there anyway because almost all the roadside bars got wiped up. They just did because just this, from erosion or sliding into no, the from no, just, basically enforcement. I mean, yeah, oh, it's very hard to get a DD sometimes in the middle of summer when you're out driving up and down, you know, the road. Uh-huh. So all the roadside bars pretty much got wiped out through except for the ones DUIs, that are like attached to hotels. Else, they just were on liability. It. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, serving minors I mean out there you know you bring in family and nobody has a problem with a 15 year old having a beer and apparently the state does yeah unless your bar's attached to a hotel then you they've all kind of disappeared mm-hmm. well it's, it's probably just where Still the money the, where you gotta follow the money like there's, there's, a, there's a lobby bear. brown bear brown bear saloon where's the brown bear out brown there bears, yeah halfway about yeah. it's next to the barbecue place if you go up uh, two things I love Denali, barbecue and, and to, booze you can go to skinny dicks halfway in that's my favorite that's, bar name that's a favorite way way I get it way up north yeah it's great I get it. <laughs> Skinny dick. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I get it. Wink, it was wink, funny the first wink, time. Wink, it's yeah. funny the last time. <laughs> it's gonna be funny for a million. <laughs> well, I think uh, I think that's no! a show. No. What about Ebola? We have what, well, yeah. Ebola. What, what about what about your sponsors? Yeah. Uh, our sponsors are Jill Coot Charlie. Jill Coot you keep the glass every Friday night. Basically. <laughs> Just don't, stab Just don't tell them. Mm-hmm. We had to. Keep the tourists have said that. Can I take this glass? I go, it's a regular pint glass. It doesn't nothing. say anything on it. There's so nothing like, special I, about I it. I want to take funny. it home with me. I like, like, to, I like to come out of the bathroom. Hey, can I take this toilet paper roll? All right, thanks. And then just go home. <laughs> I have a Coots Industrial toilet paper roll in the condo right now. Nice. I like the big, I like the roundness. I do too. I like the fact that like when you stay yeah. there, because you never know what's going to happen. You don't. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could predict pretty good now, but... Mm-hmm. There's that's always, you know, room for air. <laughs> room just, for air. Uh-huh. Thank you. I might want to be a mummy today. <laughs> that's the nicest room for air. It's that toilet paper that's just like half a ply. It's not even a full ply. It's you, you can see through it. Like, <laughs> this is, it's sheer. <laughs> this is great. It's sheer. And I, love, it's still, I love having shit all over my hands. This is perfect. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, okay, that's an odd way to end. No, yeah. that's how they all end. Yeah, why are you pooping? At so where do you head next? <laughs> Sometimes you What's your future? Poop. Next is San Francisco, California. Nice. Mm, I've heard for of that. Uh, New Year's Eve week. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's gonna be a good show, uh, and that's the, uh, I look forward to. It. You half, half, half go home and then half work. So half stay with my family in the suburbs, and then 
My wife flies in and we hit the city, so it'll be fun. It's always nice to kind of go home and work half work. And Working have, vacation. Yeah. Kinda. Nice. Uh, and I get to stay at a hotel. I don't have to stay at my old room. That's nice. Uh, and what's next for you guys? Cass is going to be. Cass, what's up? Uh, Open mic on Sunday. I, yeah, we have a we have a show the day after Christmas. We do. We have a. Like Wait, a, you guys have? A, are you going to be at the show on Sunday? Yeah, we have like well, a promote that one. An AK. Oh, no. yeah, Sunday, the one on Sunday. Sunday. Are you? Gonna, are you? Gonna do I will be there. I, I have an open house down the street, but then after. Are you that, a realtor? Sure. No, no, no. It's uh, my in laws live oh. down the street. 30th anniversary. Yeah. They're dead, so the house is now open. So Open mic every Sunday. Open then, house yeah, once a year. The Kootsmas Holiday uh, Hangover is going to be on oh. December 26th, and that's going to be all the AK Comics. And I only know open house is like a sales. Get drunk and be where, crazy. Where you sell your house. This you is didn't just know like, that? come on over. Christmas open house. That's when they I'm open coming. up to the neighborhood. Come in, boom. I'm going to pretend I'm that's a nice. new neighbor. You could do that. Just moved in. It's a great time to do it. Bought the old Bowers place. Sit there, bring a measuring tape. <laughs> bring I think it's haunted. Bring a measuring tape, start measuring artwork on yeah. the wall. The Bowers place is always haunted. What time do you guys leave around here? Is yeah. there going to be hot dishes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, be good. I'll bring one. Is there going to be hot a, bitches? Oh, casseroles. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and then, uh, so Sunday, and then, uh, 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 are you, are you going to do, do the open mic? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah. Be nice. And then jokes. two weeks, and then uh, Costa Rica. But oh, that's going to be awesome. Two months in Costa Rica. Yeah. It's going to be goddamn fantastic. That sounds fun. We're doing multiple comedy We'll be here. Shows. And we'll uh, here. what do you do when you go to – is it just like ch- chillaxing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much just a lot of writing. Sit down there and be left alone. Is zip line everywhere? Or yeah, whatever. I'm putting a zip line on the property this year. Really? Yeah. You, yeah, you own the property? Yeah, yeah. And you can own, you can actually own. It's yeah, legal you, for Americans you, to own, pro, you know, long long term lease nope, and then nope, that stuff. You own it. You you basically open a corporation, then you own it outright, and you have the same rights as Costa Ricans. So that's the unique part is that they can't really raise my taxes because they have to raise it on Costa Ricans too. So the taxes are very reasonable. Everything. How long ago did you set this in motion? Uh, I've been going down there fourteen years. Uh, own that for ten. So. Wow, because that must be a good investment. Because everybody really I know goes like so many people go to Costa Rica. Well, the nice part is, is I just say that we go down there one time. We we, we rent places or something, and then the people that run the place we go. You guys need to keep it down. Like we're from Alaska, okay? Yeah, we're not. One time we had them tell us you, you can't turn the air on, and they go, "We're from Alaska. It's eighty five <laughs> degrees down here. We're gonna turn the air. Well, you can turn it on at night, but not in the daytime. It's too expensive." And we're like, "Okay, we're gonna turn the. We rented the house. We're not renting a house without air. Yeah. Oh, you said air in the thing. Well, it has it, but don't use it." And yeah. Like, so that yeah. kind of thing, and the, and the, the noise, you know, thing. So now we have five acres. Where we can go down and do whatever we want, and we don't. Nobody can tell us what to do. And is it just jungle or is it on the coast? Yeah, I'm right on. Do yeah, you have right bananas? on bananas. I uh, think yeah, we do have bananas actually. That's bananas, awesome. fruit trees, lemon, limes. limes. We started uh, a coffee miracle fruit. The miracle fruit, the stuff that sweets is your taste buds. Uh huh. Is that good? Have you read that? Yeah, it's really yeah. cool because it takes everything uh, sour and makes it sweet. Oh, that's weird. So if yeah, you, about you it, take something. that, so like twenty minutes, you can eat like a, a lemon, and it tastes like lemon meringue pie. That's uh, like Willy Wonka white shit. White vinegar, right? yeah, white <laughs> vinegar does it, and it tastes just like uh, cream soda. White vinegar? Yeah, and you're just like, this is amazing. And then what? If and you, then it wears off, and then you go, ooh, white vinegar. <laughs> but it's like cool. normal. Yeah, <laughs> but it's really. What cool. if you drink cream soda? Is it still cream soda? Or it, like- it actually, yeah, deadens the taste of anything sweet. Sweet doesn't have any reaction to it. It that's just so doesn't bizarre. make it sweet though. But that's just like a whole day. Like, let's try shit. But that's <laughs> the thing. And no, it is. And you'll just go with it. And I was laughing because down there we have these trees, and 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 they're from Africa originally. And I told the guy, let's plant some and see if they grow. Well, mine went crazy. And because usually like takes a couple of years to get the buds in and stuff. I start getting like 30 berries a day on these little ones. And now the other ones have grown in. And so we get hundreds. Well, the locals won't take them because they don't understand what they are. <laughs> they're going, we don't get it. You yeah. can eat them, I guess. So they eat them. Well, they're, you know, they live very hand to mouth. So if they did get sweets and they took these, it would make them taste dead like nothing. Right. And Meanwhile, Becker's walking around just eating a lemon like an apple. These <laughs> yeah. are great. Hello. Just biting into an onion. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so it's, it's that pretty sounds funny. great. Yeah, I think you win as far as recent uh, close plans go. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, no, it's good. How about you? I got nothing. I'm just, I'm gonna go to work. I got a comedy. You probably need, show. A, you'll probably need a hand around the the Costa Rica. Yeah, ranch. you want to be a pool boy? Sure. All right. Yeah, we or got a speedo pool. and we got the pool. What's going a, what's, a, what's a flight cost around the holidays? Okay? About a thousand bucks. Oof. So that's good that you stay there. That's I guess for a long time. Yeah, and that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. That's it's not worth it going shorter. But it's my Prozac. I can't take this dark weather. I mean, it kills. Oh, that must be awesome. It's too much. I didn't grow up here. I, I didn't grow up here. My pot I, I dealer didn't sign didn't up get, for this. My pot dealer didn't get arrested, <laughs> right. but I'm still here. <laughs> well, thanks for having me on the show, guys. Absolutely. Thanks, Tony. Thank you very much for doing this. It was fun. Tony Kameen, go uh, go find him. Yep. And Cass Smiley. Don't mm-hmm. look for me. Look at for all. Cass no, Smiley. Do not. 
She's easy to find. I, yeah. She's running so, all over I'm town. I'm on the corner of Spinard and, her, and, and McCray, mm-hmm. right next to the Chelsea. She's that pale girl wearing pajama pants. <laughs> if you can't um, find that, you're not looking. All right. <laughs> Near the Wild, I'm John Norris. I'm Matt Becker. Goodbye. You've been listening to the Near the Wild podcast with Matt Becker and John Norris, recorded in Anchorage, Alaska on Matt Becker's Backyard Bus, engineered by me, Craig Shaley. Impressions. <laughs> well, I guess I knew there was more impressions. Goddamn, mine are good.